get the like and Welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of All Ball Chicago. I am your co-host, Robert Bobby Reed, and I got the legend, the NBA veteran, the McDonald's All-American, your host, Marcus, living in the building. What's up, Marcus? What's up, my beautiful people? And we got a special edition of All Ball Chicago today. We're talking about Draymond Green and the Sucker Punch, man. What's up, Marcus? I I drove Marcus out of retirement. Today is his day off. I, I, I kind of coerced him to coming on, y'all, so. You got to get ask him some questions. We want to get right into it, Marcus. Yeah. What uh, was your thoughts, Marcus? You know, man, it, it was not good, you know, especially the way it looked. You know, uh, I don't know what was really said, but for someone to get punched like that, it had to be some harsh words being spoken. And... And I think you still don't do nothing like that, you know, as far as hitting another young man, you know, especially, you know, it looks like he hit him in the face. Um, it just uh, it just didn't look like a good look on Draymond Green part. Um, and not to say, you know, young fella was, you know, right on his side. It could have been something he said that it really pissed Draymond off, but, I, but you still don't deserve to get hit like that. And then you see, a, 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 I don't know if it was a coach or someone walking by. If you see an altercation and you see somebody coming toward another person, you should jump right in. He mm -hmm. walked right on the side of him. Right. You know, and 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 Draymond hit him, you know. And I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm assuming he will get suspended. You know, I'm assuming he will get suspended uh, for that. And it could be something that was boiling over from, you know, last year. We just don't know, you know, it, what really led to this type of, you know, hit that that guy, you know, that Draymond did. What you think? Uh, you know what? I, I was just reading up on it, a little bit on it. And um, from, from what they were saying, uh, Poole, Wiggins, and Draymond Green, all three of them are up for Super Maxes. Super max contract. So they 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 think it's some dissension there with the money. Mm. Oh, Tanya, you say they they say they won't he, they won't miss he won't miss any games for that. Um, Are you kidding me? Uh, I I don't know if that's you know right, but to get all of the to get all the publicity that this is getting, I can't see him not getting. Suspended for some games. I just can't see it. You know, uh, my man said, what about this? You know, I, I can't remember that one. That was back in the 70s, man. We in the Cotton Candy <laughs> League. Nah, bro. Look the Cotton Candy League. Here go my man, uh, Whitney. Let's see what he says. Doc, what up, my brother? Hope you are well and blessed. Bro, you know that from where we from. On the low end, it will be on every day on site. One of them has to go after that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah. And me, and me and Bob was also talking, you know, about when you see someone coming up at you like that, you put those knuckles up, you know. Right. You, and, 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 and I don't know if Pooh knew that that's what he was coming over there to do, but if I see somebody coming aggressively at me, I'm I'm, I'm guarding my grill. I'm guarding my grill. I'm putting my I'm putting my I'm putting my five fives up. 
I'm putting them 55s up, man. <laughs> you said you're putting them 55s up. You know, I, I, I'm looking at the two situations with the coach and um, what he did at Boston. And then I'm looking at this situation. And it's still on the job behavior. So right. if we go address one issue, we have to address the other issue the same. Bro, Draymond picked on a smaller man. Go on, keep it clean, but we know what kind of move that was. Yeah. Yeah, because you think about this. If that was Steph Curry, would he got suspended? Mm -hmm. Think about that. If that was Stephen Curry that he swung on and connected, it wouldn't even be a question. He probably would be out the league. <laughs> if he hit Steph Curry? Probably, you know what I'm saying? Right. But I just, we know people fight all the time in mm -hmm. practice. It gets heated in practice, you know. They scuffling, they, they swing, and they, you know, it's, 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 it is a man's game. Right. And if you if, if you hit me or you throw an elbow wrong and I ain't like the elbow, yeah, it's going to be some push and shove and maybe some some connecting the dots. But that's in the heat of a battle. Draymond Green didn't even look like he was on the court playing at all. Right. Well, it's a show, it's a longer version of the video where it showed Draymond walk all the way like to the other side talking to somebody. And then he walked back over the pool. And he say something to him, and put Pooh say something to him, and then he get in Pooh's face. And yeah, that Poole was like, man, get out my face. Yeah, that was something being said, man. It was some words yeah. being said that, that that Draymond didn't probably like, and, and Draymond being from, where's he from? Flint, Michigan, I think. Yeah, he's from up there. He's from up and there. He probably didn't like it, you know. So we got something right there for you, Bob. Whoever leaked the video is fired and won't have a job in the NBA again. He risked it all <laughs> leaking the video. Who ball and Scooby had to leak the video, man? They leak everything else, buddy. I don't even know if it was somebody. That it was uh, you got to you got to think about it. It's it's practice. You probably had some media there, mm -hmm. you know, and that could have mm -hmm. been somebody from the media that that put that out there, and 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 um, and uh, all the other outlet, you know, media outlets got it, you know, hold of it, but. I get what he's saying, you know, who 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 is the one that leaked that video, but it could have been somebody from the media that was there. You know, they could, they, they put the, all this stuff on their phone anyway now, so they don't even have those cameras and stuff. They're doing everything through the iPhones and stuff now. Uh, so Well, I know all the smoke was there yesterday. You know, all the smoke was in the building yesterday, visiting with the Warriors and, and, and interviewing guys. So, you know, it was a media frenzy. It says the preseason, you know, uh, everybody's around. Marcus, have you have you all been in fights at practice? Kurt said he won't miss any games. They will handle it inside, probably a fine. Mm -mm -mm. Well, everybody, everybody's been in, in, in fights, you know. Uh, at one point in their basketball careers, yeah, uh, Ron, Ron, <laughs> I, um, and I'm not. That's why I said I'm not. I'm not there, so I don't know what really went down. I mean, it could have been a punch that my man threw that Draymond earlier on. I don't know. We don't know, right? But it seems to me the part that they're showing is when he connected the dots. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and and it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing to the Golden State Warriors. It's embarrassing to the NBA because now it's almost like it's going to be some pressure put on you to make a decision. Just like what happened to the coach at Boston Celtics. If that never got leaked, what would have happened with, with that situation? We we don't know. But it came out publicly, so now some actions had to be done. And Boston Celtics stepped up and did what they had to do, which was, you know, hit them with a, a year suspension. Now the pressure's yeah. on Golden State. You know, what are you going to do? I mean, what if Poole and his entourage or whatever not like that, and now he got his buddies and everybody waiting to see what's up? That's my dude. You ain't going to just hit my dude like that, and now it can lead to something else bigger than that. Because so we, we know that's where it go. 
Come on, man. And, and the NBA haven't seen that. Everybody got a crazy cousin or crazy uncle in the family and saying, man, that's my nephew. Right, right, right. <laughs> So it's right. it can go it can go it can go crazy, man. So something's gonna have to be done. A fine may not be enough enough for the for his family. No, a, a fine is definitely not enough for you stealing on my son. And I see that. We're gonna have to get to the bottom of that. And um, if you guys gotta trade them, trade them. But uh, the Golden State Warriors, you will not walk away unblemished. I think Poole will request that he that they trade they Draymond. Before he was resigned. Oh, yeah. That could yeah. be something he holds over their head. That could be something that he hold you know, over go to state head. If y'all want me back, really, you know, it's either him or me. Right. It could, it could be, it could go that situation. It could go that route. And and the sad part about it is uh they'll definitely let Poole go. They say, okay, Doc, be on site. Air day until I get my get back. JP <laughs> can't face no one until he redeems himself. He took JP's manhood, and now he has to find a way to get it back. You know it was tough times of being light-skinned in the low end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. man, you know, it's and that's the first thing that came over across my mind when I saw it and I put it up. I was just thinking about the totality of it growing up in the urban community. People don't understand when somebody sucker punch you like that, because that's what that was. When you get sucker punched, it's on from uh, until I get it all the way back until, you know, and the street in me make me want to run home, you know, <laughs> and go get it. And so, but I, and I ain't even that type of person, but you, you mentally blank out. Yeah. Trey Young said Draymond Green trying to get to the Lakers. Mm. Mm. Wow. Trey Young said that? Why would he so, want to go to the so Lakers? So him and LeBron can be over there fighting? And, and, uh, and, uh, what's no, the Patrick, him and Patrick Beverly. Patrick Beverly, <laughs> <laughs> Patrick Beverly ain't going to put up with that. Patrick man. Beverly ain't going. But it's... It's not a good look. Let's put it that way, Bob. It's not a good look. And and and, and whoever leaked it, it is out there now. It can't be taken away. You know, so everybody across the United States knows what just went up, went on in the Golden State works. And not only that, they just coming off a national championship. A world championship. And um, well, and that's what your boy Poole said. He, he publicly said ever since they won the title, it's been – there's a lot of dissension around the locker room, man. Because now Draymond talking even more trash because they didn't want five. You know, and like I said, I like Draymond, but he's an overachiever. He has right. overachieved his entire career. It's just the stars lined up right perfectly. He had two of the greatest shooters to do his job and get rebounds and push it up the floor and give it to them. Okay, That's Bob, he has made his name off of. We, we got something. Larry Smith just chimed in. And look oh, what he God. said. Rob, you considered out a sucker punch. Didn't Poole shove him first? Absolutely, he shoved him first. But we didn't know that Draymond was going to lean over him. First of all, Larry Smith, you walk up in my face. You talking to me. Yeah, I'm going to push you up off me. Now, I'm not expecting you to fire. But I'm when I push you off of me, me, I'm expecting you to fire now. Because you didn't got in my face, so you want it. So, yeah. That was a sucker punch. Draymond, you in, you in practice. You ain't think your teammate going to take no full extent of the, of the punch, man, and knock you out like that. You know? Y'all young, all y'all millionaires. And I know it's money. I know money and everything. But, you know, I just I just think Draymond, what he did was bogus. And uh, he did it to the right person, you know? So to all of our listeners out there, feel free to chime in. We would like to hear your thoughts your input on the situation that happened with the Golden State Warriors, the world champions. What do you guys think? Renita, you're right. Draymond is out of order, 100%. And he's been out of order for a long time. Now, Marcus, I'm going to ask you, when, I, when you first saw it now, you said that he may very well do be what? Say it again, Bob. I was looking you said at some he may very well be out of the league. Yeah, I mean, think about it. If 
things keep snowballing with you know a person. I'm not I'm not gonna say his name, but just say if I was in that situation and I'm always getting in some kind of altercation with another player, whether that's me kicking somebody, whether that's me spitting on somebody constantly over and over again, it's going to, that, that rope that I had first is going to start getting smaller and smaller. And right. then something's going to happen big. And then it might be an opportunity for me to not be able to play anymore. You know? So, all that stuff has to come into play when you start to doing things and you know that it's a good chance that if I do something that's not right, it can hurt me later on. And I, I'm not saying I don't wish that on no one. I hope that it they can work something out. But I don't see, like you said, when we talked before, that I don't see Poole like, coming to an agreement with what, what, what just happened to him. Yeah, not yeah. at all, man. Considering where he's from and his family from now, now, well, you can you can look at it two ways. All right, so fellas, what should uh, Green's punishment be? A big fine? Hold on, Pooh, we get back to you. You could you could look at it this way. If I'm his dad, I say, you know what? He, he stole on you, but you got a professional job. You're a professional athlete. You make a lot of money. You know what we'll do is we'll follow the precautions of the team. We'll do whatever the team wants us to do. And we'll move on from here. We right. won't let this spill into the streets. Hey, he did what he did. Now you know where you stand with this dude. Well, let's just talk about if me and you was working at Walgreens and I hit you. You think that, that I'm going to get a fine or I'm going to get fired? you getting fired. That's a job, man. That's a job. I agree. You know, so... I know people are talking like, what should he get fined? Uh, that's to answer Pooh's question. You know, what should he get? What should he get? Should he get fined? Um, I don't know. Like, but I know in the real, like in the job world, if you end up meeting all of a sudden and then somebody gets in somebody's face and shoves them and you got the general manager right there in that meeting and you, sw you swing and you hit them. Hell, both of them might get fired. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. They don't treat professional sports like real life, though. They don't hold them to the same rules. It's a different set of rules. I hear you, Bob. I hear you. I you hear know, you talking. I hear you talking, brother. I I'm just you saying, talking. you come on, man. They slight the rules differently. Like, I mean, okay, we say uh, Idoka. Okay, he get cheated, get caught cheating with the uh, one of the vice president's wife, and now, oh no, that's too extreme, brother. You can't be sleeping with a woman. You gonna have to uh, be off for a whole year. But you could be a brother and still on another brother and go right back to work. Michael Jordan punched Steve Kerr, and he got kicked out of practice, but he didn't miss a game. But again, that's Michael Jordan. No, no, let's go back to what we said. If the video didn't get leaked. We wouldn't be talking a bit in house, right? Michael Jordan did that, and it, the video wasn't out like that. It nope. wasn't no video. It, it wasn't was, even out. The, the, <laughs> it wasn't even the, the punch wasn't even out. No, so we don't. Yeah, about yeah. So we didn't. We, people didn't see it. Now I'm pretty sure if people would have saw it, been like they would have been like Mike need to get fined. Mike need to get kicked out of the league. Something need to be happening to Mike instead right. of what did he say? He got one game. He didn't miss a game. <laughs> he didn't miss a game. So. Is put pressure on when that video comes out. That's what I'm telling. Mm -hmm. The key to it is the video getting put out. Right. When that video got leaked out, of how, however it got leaked out, that's when the problem came. Right. And that's that's the whole thing. Uh, Draymond Green and his antics has been long coming. Been been going on too long. We could talk trash all day long until you put your hands on me. What happened when Spree World choked PJ? Yeah, how, what happened with, with that? How long was PJ? Uh, how long was uh man, Spree well out? Man, I, we gotta go look that one up. But that he was out for a very long Let me time. Pull that up. Let me see that. Up. I want to say a year. Up. I want to say a year. How long was the trail Spree well suspended for the league for hitting the coach? Let's try again. How long was how long was the trail Spree well suspended for hitting PJ Carlismo? Yeah, but that's uh, it's unfortunate, man, that this situation had to happen, and 
he got put out on blast pretty much. It's all over social media and it's uh it's not a good it's not a good look, man. I don't know how I don't care how anybody looks at it. It is not a good look when you have somebody in your organization, you know, throwing punches and it's being shown throughout social media, throughout social media. So it's gonna have to be something a little harsher than just a little fine. Hold on, Screenware was handed a 10-day suspension. Look, here you go, right here. He had his contract voided. Hold on, it says Screenway was handed down a 10-day suspension. Yeah. But as the story and the outage grew, the punishment ballooned. Oh, two days after the incident, the Warriors voided his three-year Two twenty three point seven million contract. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh wow. Draymond been talking trash to players since he's been in the league. Pool was probably getting the best of him, and Draymond couldn't have it. Couldn't take it. Draymond is out of order and gonna pay. It's funny how players want to play tough. They don't know nothing. They don't. They don't know nothing. Yeah. Right. Tell these young guys to look up Kermit Washington. Ooh, really sad. I him. Oh man, I was brutal there. Yeah. What he did to Rudy T. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, they suspended Spree for a whole year. That's what I told you. Woo! And voided his 23.7 million contract. Damn. It is, it is, it is, or does Draymond think he's a superstar like player? He is the heart of the team. But he's a great role player, but he just rubs me the wrong way thinking he's me. Mike Hoops Page, I test men live, just said that. He's <laughs> overachiever. He's overachieved with that team, man. Put him anywhere else. Put him well, with the Pelicans. I want to see him do that with the Pelicans. Well, every team needs a person that can get under people's skin. Right, you think about, and every every team doesn't have that player because nobody wants to be the bad guy, mm -hmm. right? Draymond Green took that on, and he wears it on his sleeve every time he steps out on the court, you know. And I think sometimes people get so caught up in the hype that they believe that's who they really are, you mm -hmm. know. And I I think what happened with this situation, that was it. Like, dude. You can't come at me. I'm I'm big bad wolf. Right. You know? So whatever happened between them two, it probably was that. And Draymond Green could have just, you know, sw you know, swept it under the rug and said, you know what, I ain't going to – I'm cool. But being the label that he has, he has to do something. You know, I'm not saying, you know, it was right, but I think right. he he he's trying to live up to that's who I am. Yeah, man, you know, and, and, and yeah, like you said, that you start believing that hype. You notice when Curry and Thompson was gone the year before last, Green faked the injury so he wouldn't be exposed. He played like 10 games, then missed a full year, remember? He sure did. He sure <laughs> did. He sure did. <laughs> I remember that. He stunk it up, man. I can't wait to see what Shaq and Charles had to say about this. Yeah, when they gonna chime in? Right. Wow. See, I just said that. Look what he said. Every team needs a Draymond Green because he gets up under people's skin. Yeah. Why wow, they say Draymond won't be suspended for striking pool at Warriors practice? Wow. That's most recent. He won't get what? That's just a recent update from the real GM. Wow. Will, Will, I agree with you. We do need to dedicate a basketball facility. We do. In honor of all of the great high school basketball players that, that ever came out of Chicago. So now these little kids that's coming up can understand who – a Sonny Parker is or was, who mm -hmm. a Craig Hodges or who who a Carl Goldston or who is a Nick Anderson, 
who was Randy Brown. You know, I could go on and on and talk about all of the great basketball players that came out of Chicago. Even Gerald Haywood, people don't talk about Gerald Haywood anymore out of High Park High School. Yeah, that boy was tough, right? A prolific score. Out Frederick Hughes. Myself. Yeah. We need that, man. We do. We need that. We need something like that. Absolutely. Yeah, man. You know, I just think that uh look what Pooh said. Oh Lord. Man, Jordan Poole, a cutie with shorts. <laughs> sure, he have a lover, not a fight. He a lover, not a fighter. You can tell Poole don't want to fight, but Poole from Milwaukee Green Green might want to miss that game. <laughs> oh, he don't want to come to Milwaukee, right? Yeah, that's, that's right. Man. That's what I said, man. Now you got his boys, all them like now the NBA and everybody else and and, and uh, Golden State. You gonna have to have security, man. If it if it gets to that level. If it gets to that level, you're going to have to get some security now, man, because you don't never know where somebody going to come in and the play. That's what I'm saying, man. And you know the streets, man, they be on that. Live. The streets is on that. Draymond Green is paid to be the bodyguard on the floor, such as Charles Oakley was to MJ. Everyone needs an enforcer to protect you, your main player that other teams may abuse. Detroit did it, Isaiah. He got lost in who he was right right yeah but the key the key question was what I mean the key thing that he just said protecting his players from other other players from right. everyone else this is in-house this is you fighting against your own teammates yeah man it's crazy man it's crazy you know somebody said pool fathers from the south side yeah he went to Simeon Pool father went to Simeon? Yeah, he graduated from Simeon. Why you always got to throw some Simeon in there, man? Every time, it's got to be some Simeon. Hey, Simeon this, Simeon that. Right, well, I don't, <laughs> hey, look, I don't ride like that. Every, every, every time I want to I didn't do some, nothing but walk the halls. Every, everything you want, <laughs> you want to bring up some Rocky Marciano. Rocky Marciano. You know how Rocky Marciano was. Rocky Marciano was the champ. No, but Ricky yeah, did. He did. He went to Simeon. He said his dad played football at Simeon. Uh oh, football so, at yeah, the Mion. But I mean, if like I said, that's my that's man. My son, that's my man, Rick. That's my man, Rick, out there in uh, Dallas. With the Dallas, I think he's still. Did Rick, you still living out in Dallas, Texas, or you you back you back in Chicago, Rick? Uh, me and Rick. Well, Rick went to Farron High School, man, and uh, under Hamp. And uh, we, we, we pretty tight. We pretty tight. Rick doing big things, too. Man, yeah, man. the it's team crazy. looks scared to stop him. You don't put your hands on another man unless you want trouble. Hmm. You're right, man. Wow. Wow. That's that's sad, man. Really, you really look at it, man. It's, it's sad. But anything – that some people can do probably can fire a team up too, you know, to get them to all come together. Maybe this was nah, a show. Maybe nah. this is a show, man. Maybe this was a this was a, it was a, an act. Maybe was, this was something that you know them trick cameras, man. Man, Draymond ran KD up out of there, man. Come on, man. Draymond mm. ran KD up out of there. You saw what he said to KD, man. This ain't his first go. This ain't his first rodeo. Where's Matt Bond and Steven Jackson? I want to hear that take on it. Uh, go to Steven Jackson's Instagram page. He dropped it on there. He said it, it was petty. He said it wasn't right. You don't steal on the little homies. He said, um, basically, you're supposed to be looking out for the little guys. And, yeah, and number one, you really don't look you're supposed to be at work fighting your teammates, man. That's your job. So Steven Jackson was level-headed on it, most definitely. Yeah, it's it, – I get – it's just sad. It's sad, man. There ain't no way I can even you know, explain it any other way. It was sad, man, that someone got, you know, hit. And it was all over the news, you know. Yeah, man. I can't wait to see what uh, – I want to see what my man Stephen A. had to say. Ain't no Romeo. coming together after that. I'm with you. I'm with you, Romeo. Romero. 
No, I'm with I, you on but, that, bro. But you, but you got to understand what I'm saying, uh, Romero. Was it Romeo? Romero. 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 I, I get, but I'm saying if it would have never leaked, it could have been a way that they could have just, you know, tried to make it work. You know what I'm saying? In-house. But when it when it hit the fan like that, it's on and popping now. It's on and popping. That's all I was saying. I wasn't saying that's what they going to do. But if it was never on the social media outlets, it probably could have got swept under, under the table, like what happened to Mike and Steve Kerr. They could have said, oh, he was just a little, a little tap. Man, we're in a different time now, man. And uh, that's abuse. Yeah, we talked about that, uh, Marcus, already about that one. Yeah. Uh, when, when Mike did it, but it wasn't. Did you see it on social media anywhere, Marcus? We still ain't seen that punch. That's like that punch Sunny List and uh, Muhammad Ali threw on Sunny List. We still ain't seen that one. The right. Phantom Punch. Look at my man. My man, who, my man, Hassan. Oh. <laughs> they said Draymond apologized. Oh, really? Oh, yeah? Well, let me get my leg back. Yeah, Moni Williams, they both on the contract and they got to make it work, but. You know, the sad part about it is men have egos. Most men, especially I imagine being a professional athlete like uh, both of those guys, it's going to be hard to coexist after that. You know, it's going to be hard, man. I, I anticipate a trade happening immediately. And that's how I'm being totally honest. I see that happen. Right. All right, let's get to one more, man. We got to, I know we got to roll. Okay, bro, the Warriors just won the chip, and they shouldn't need anything to fire them up. Just depending, just defending your title should be enough. Just like when we were young as at Williams Gym, if you beat Marcus and Stretch, God rest his soul, that was enough to fire you up all summer. <laughs> all right, all right. That's what's up, man. That's love, man, for the Liberty Boys. That's love, man. We used, to, we used to put it on a lot of cats, man, a lot of cats. I can't see them paying them twenty-seven million, and they got these young dogs. And Poole is one by, is one by Green. Yeah, they were just talking about that that contract. But what do y'all think about this before we get off of this? They were talking about trading Damian Lillard straight up for Poole and uh, Poole and Wiggins. So Portland get Wiggins and Poole, and Damian Lillard goes to Golden State. What does that look like? Wow. Somebody trying to go in on you on your Bob. Oh, yeah. Let me see. Yeah. Right Come on with it. I'm going to show you right now. There, right there you. we go. I'm sorry. I got to address this. Forgive me for going off topic. I got to ask why you support R. Kelly after all the shit he does talking about free R. Kelly. I had to ask this. Well, I'm just a fan of his music. Put it back up. I want to I I I I I take, take this. Moni Williams, I am not uh, condoning any of his actions, uh, his personal life. Uh, while I do understand that he have a lot of transgressions, I don't have a heaven or a hell to put him in, a prison or a cell to put him in. It's just strictly music. I mean, we listen to a lot of people's music who have done things, man, in the past, and I just can't judge them. So, so I'm not. So, so, that. so what? What they saying is you've been you've been posting free you free him or you've been posting like you like his music. I use the hashtag. I use the hashtag. Uh -huh. I use the hashtag free R Kelly because I don't think that uh, man should be able to dictate someone going away for uh, thirty years who clearly has a psychological problem. You know they don't throw white men away like that. They only throw the brothers away like that. Now, we knew 20 years ago that Mark R. Kelly had a problem with underage girls, and they let him off the first time, and they allowed him to pay 10 different families money through a non-disclosure. Now, Moni Williams, this was 20 years ago when he did this. So now the Me Too movement comes around. Come to find out, Me Too, the same people who own that on Black Lives Matter, they've been misappropriating funds. 
So they are we going to scrutinize everybody on everything now? Because they were able to capitalize off of Silas and R. Kelly, muting R. Kelly. They made it their platform where they got their money, supporting black girls, and then took that whole thing. So it's a lot of stuff to go with that, too. So I'm not the judge or the jury. I don't have a heaven or hell prisoner cell to throw anybody in. I listen to his music. That's it, Moni. And then you can check Rob's at the hour show. That's what he talks about when he gets grimy with stuff. Not on All Ball Chicago. We don't do that on All Chicago. So, Moni, I let that one get on so Rob can address it with you. But we all about some positive, uplifting stuff here, man. And, and Rob is in. We already know where he's at right now, and he's serving time, you know, for the crime that he did. So, uh, hey, Moni, swing on over to my page, Robert Bobby Reed. And, uh, we can hop on the podcast, and, man, you can chop it up on my other show. It's all good. It's all good. J Bond can sometimes be too excessive and needs to be shut up and chill sometimes. But that's what has made him who he is. The media and Draymond haters are blowing this all out of proportion. Michael Jordan, Black Steve Kerr's eye, and Isaiah Thomas broke his hand punching Bill Lambert. And no one blamed the aggressors and that or them this time. So why now? We're in a different time now. And in this time and day and age right now, Geno Williams, you can't say nothing to a person out of line. You got to watch what you're saying. You got to watch what you're doing. You know, so if you can, if it's going to be one way, it got to be that way all the way. You can't just make the rules change as we go. Right, Liv? Come on now, Liv. You can't say a word to a person nowadays. You got to watch what you say. Right? Yeah. I we mean, do it on All Ball Chicago 100%. Because everything is being watched now. I mean, you know, you got. Everything is it, you can do something. It, it used to be, you know, your news channel have to get it, and then they have to send a crew out there. Now I'm taking my phone. I got, I got, I got. It's you. Up. It's you know, up. so yeah, you definitely have to watch what you say and what you do now. Definitely, yeah. absolutely. You know, or you'll be right on, right on the thing. You can, you can catch. For instance, I could be going to the bathroom outside, and somebody say, "Oh, let me get this big dude." You know, he over there. Yeah. You know. And, 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 and it leaks, right? You know. And now was, everybody said that's Marcus Liberty and this is just put exposed. Right, right. Find him. <laughs> put yeah. him in jail. Lock him up. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I, mean, I got I got kids. I got kids walking outside. You know. And so it's like crazy. I'm like jail is not always the answer because I think sometimes we need to be rehabilitated, man. Y'all got to get Tracy Dillon on the show. He a character. Absolutely, man. Absolutely. Uh, Tracy Dildy is retired right now, so we could definitely get Tracy Dildy on here. He talked basketball all day long. And Tracy been on, too. Uh, just so you know, you need to go back and check out some of our, our old videos from back in early in the year of last year that we had Tracy on. Tracy came on and Tracy gave some mad love. Tracy is uh, 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 my big bro. So definitely, Tracy, you know, he can come on anytime. Anytime. Yeah, man, that's what's up, man. That's what's but yeah, up. we wanted to definitely get on and, and talk about you know this, and and it's 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 not it's not a good look. I don't care what anybody says; it's not a good look. You can you can slice it and and, and say and put it on where however you want to put it. That was not a good look. Bad look at all costs, man, and, and that's my stance on it, man. I didn't know homie was the Bill McGee's pops. You always hear about Pam. Oh, he, he must be talking about George oh, Big Montgomery. George Montgomery. Yeah, man. Big George Montgomery. Classy guy. Legend. Went to, went to Illinois. Yeah, went to Illinois. Went to Corliss High School out on the south side. Uh, you can go back and pull him up on All Ball Chicago. We, got a, we did an interview with him as well. Oh, man. We would love Frederick. We reached out we, to Joe Stiffen. We would love. All his back in the days for an interview. We love Man. to get Joe Stiff. So if you know where Joe Stiff is at, please get us in contact with him. Because Joe Stiff, and I remember, man, when King played, man, and he blocked somebody's shot, man, on the backboard with his chest. Wow. <laughs> man. I heard of. Man, dude, that dude would jump out the gym. They used to call him Jumping Joe Stiff. 
man. We're all boss man, Chicago, I love. man. We got to get up out of here, man. It's my lunch time. My stomach going off in my it's clock going off in my stomach, man. It's time, man. It's time, it's man. Time, man. I want to just uh, thank everybody for tuning in last minute. We just jumped on real quick because this came out. Uh, but we want to let everybody know we appreciate you. Keep continue supporting us. Continue to show love, share it, do all those good good things that you always do with All Ball Chicago. That's right, man. Y'all swing over to that website and get the coaching. World's first social distance device, www.coachingdevices.com. It's your boy Bobby Reed, and I'm up out of here, man. Mark is living it. We got to go, baby. All right. Who ball and scoop trying to get one more question in? Oh, man. They didn't just uh, forgot about old Chet Holgram since this kid. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't even talking about old Chet no more how they live. Nah, they all kid. talking about this kid, yeah, man. The, the kid's the real deal, though, man. The kid's the real deal. Uh, wow. Real deal. Wow. Yeah, Fred, yeah, Fred, yeah, Frederick, man. Uh, uh, um, Joe, Joe Stiffens was a, a man, a man child. The way he was playing back in the days at Marshall High School on the west side, he jumped out the gym, man, for real, for real. He First time had, I saw Joe Stiffens was at uh, Chicago State. He probably had a he probably had a fifty inch vertical man for real. The, mm -hmm. kid, the guy jumped out the gym, yeah. but that's what that's what a lot of people don't know. You know, a lot of greats. That's one of the reasons why we wanted to do all ball Chicago. So if you know anybody that's from the crib that used to get down between those lines, have them reach out to us. We'll get them on the show. I mean, and, and we'll let them come on and tell their story of man of how they grew up and how. Uh, well, not how, but who put the rock in the hand. Wednesdays at noon. That's right. Standard time. But in the meantime, we got to get up out of here because we got things to do. Yep. So a one, two, microphone checker. Bob, go ahead and say your little freestyle rap. Oh, man. I'm man, you wick, wick, man. you wick, wick, whack. <laughs> wick, wick, whack. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank y'all for watching. Chicago, all ball, shut down, all ball, Chicago, all ball, shut down.